Welcome to date night. Ah, here we are at date night. In tonight's topic, what do you want to be when you grow up? Mm. Maybe it'll be three parts because we'll do what we wanted to be, what we actually ended up studying and are doing, and then what we would like to do at some point if we can before we hit the bucket, kick the bucket, hit the bucket, croak. Wow. Okay. Die. Yeah. Why don't you go first? Mm. I can go. Okay, great. So what did I want to be when I was? Yeah. So as a kid, the first thing I wanted to be was an animator for Disney. I really liked to draw. He's such a good drawer. And then, thanks. And then it was either that was first and dinosaur bone, like an archaeologist was second. What's a dinosaur? My diners are sewer. Ouch. Yuck. I can't remember if it was um, wanted to be an archaeologist and dig up dinosaur bones first and then be an animator for Disney, or it was flip-flop. Mm -hmm. um, those two stand out in my mind. And then as I got a little bit older and thought that that was probably not gonna work out, I thought of maybe an architect. So those three things, archeologist, animator, or architect. What caused you to want to be any of those three? Why, 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 why? <laughs> <laughs> as a kid, I used to I loved to draw. Did you watch all the Disney movies? No, but I watched a lot of like um, the original Transformers and Thundercats, you know, DuckTales and all those, which were probably all drawn by animation firms in, in Japan. I always was fascinated with dinosaurs growing up. And I'm sure Indiana Jones probably had something to do with Ooh. me wanting to be an archeologist, uh, or at least wear a whip. And wear a, hat. a whip. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say the hat and then you went with the whip. Yeah. I was surprised by that. And then Archi what? Architect. architect seemed like it was the most logical choice. I have an analytical side to me too. Oh. What? <laughs> God, Zooks! Okay, I'm done talking. Your turn. What did I want to be when I grew up? I was very interested in anything performing. So I always did theater things, singing. I was always wanting to do like the plays and all of that. I was also very fortunate that I had a dad in, in the industry. So, I mean, he really helped me do some like voiceover work, which I was enamored with and I still am. I would love to do that as an adult. You know, as time went on, I really wanted to be on SNL. So, Lauren I Michaels, if you're out there, I'm ready. You can do it from the house. <laughs> I'll do impersonations. Hi. Do, your, do Christopher Walken. I th wait, no. I, that was going to be like Bane. I think I want to be on Saturday Night Live, Batman. It was a mix between Bane and Count the Count from <laughs> Sesame Street. <laughs> but One up. Uh hard time channeling Christopher Walken. It always goes south. It, it always goes to John Travolta. John Travolta. <laughs> All right, do John Travolta. John Travolta. And then it's going to sound like Christopher Walken. <laughs> hey, Joe, we're drinking some beers here. That Mr. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that was Christopher Walken. <laughs> Look, my friends, they want to shop. You're good at that. Oh, and he does a really good Italian accent, too. Do your Italian accent. Bibbidi bobbidi. Bibbidi bobbidi. Provolone. That's not your Italian accent. I don't do an Italian oh, accent. Oh, Irish. No, that's what I meant. <laughs> You're Irish. You do too, because you pull it out every St. Patty's and it makes me very excited. I'll do it later. You've got her doing those kind of things for her jobs, and you've got me working at my local pizza place delivering pizzas. Oh, what you were doing whenever you were in high school. You had all these fun things. Oh my gosh, I had lots. No. That was childhood, though. Mm. By the time I was like a teenager. Did dad force you to work as a child? Child labor. I was free talent. Uh, yeah, because in high school, like once I got a license, I didn't do any of that. I was working, like working real jobs. Yeah. I don't know. What did you go to school for and why did you choose that? I went to school for art and the idea of getting my degree in art alone terrified me. I didn't like the idea of maybe selling a painting or a sculpture or something, then not knowing if anybody was going to buy anything for six months. I, um, so I did. Oh, Everything's goes. blown away. Uh, oh, so I decided, sure you know, I didn't like the idea of doing just the whole art thing because of lack of consistency as far as income goes. Um, I decided, I, I, you know, I was really interested in computers, um, kind of wanted to try and combine the two. So I did an art degree and a computer science minor to try and make sure I had that consistent income and do two things that I enjoyed that I thought, you know what, 
even if I get bored in one area, I could do the other and, and, and bounce back and forth. And I tried the community college. I did not like it. <laughs> if you don't really go, it really doesn't make a difference. Both. Oh, boring. Anywho, um, so yeah, I did a whole lot of life and then I really liked working with kids. I was very drawn to that. I uh, worked with kids when I went to Thailand and loved it. So I came home and put my efforts into working with kids. When you, oh my gosh. Holy. There, you can probably see, oh, you can see him. Oh my gosh, if you could see that. It's a big hawk. I think it was gonna try and pick me up. No, they just live in the area. They live in the woods behind us. Yeah, what came, what did you, what did you bring? I don't even know what I'm saying now. I feel terrified. What did you bring back with you from Thailand? A worm in my gut. It's yeah, still there. it's still there. It crawls around sometimes. Sometimes uh -huh. it comes out and it'll like wrap itself around you at night. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I think it goes right back in my I butt. I put my flute. <laughs> um, That's a trumpet. I did though. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know instruments. You are, you are, you have been called to work with children. You have a natural gifting and desire to uh, work with kids, teach kids. That are not birthed from my loin. <laughs> um, you want, and, but them all. even, yeah, even for our kids, uh, you, you, the things that you do. You're just my little squishish. I love kids. The things that you do for them. I, I don't know if it's all teachers or just this one, but she does all kinds of stuff. And I would ask her, are you, are you on the clock right now? Are you getting paid or what's, and she's like, no. I just, I just want to have it ready because I think they would really enjoy it. And any teachers out there know you get paid for like 25% of the time you invest. The people who are literally raising up future generations of our country in education are getting like nothing. Preach it. No, it's... it's Preach it, is, it, brother. And they have to buy their own supplies. No, that's true. That often happens that's because insane. they only get, you only get so much money from the school. A lot of schools don't have the funds to give you extras. So you have to provide those materials. And I'm typically willing, mainly because Joe is our <laughs> main source of income. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. What you kids want? Mega rain. Sorry. Fun fact, when we first started talking, before we started dating, she uh, sends me this email that, that goes on about how she is currently taking care of her son. Um, as a single mom, she is going back to college herself, and she is tutoring her brother, her younger brother, in school. Yeah, homeschooling and, him. Yeah, homeschooling him. And I was like, yeah, this lady's nuts. And you beat <coughs> me anyway. So I went back to college as an adult yeah. in my 30s. And then uh, as I graduated, I was pregnant with our daughter. So I taught for a little bit, um, really just had to take care of our daughter. So therefore, I did not do a lot of teaching. When she went to pre-K, I taught pre-K, which I quite liked. I had a great partner and um, it was very, it was fun. Two to five is actually one of my favorite ages. I did that until COVID. Now I'm at home virtually on Zoom. Future plans? Future plans. You know, um, I want to visit again. the world. I would love to travel to Europe. I would love to go to Japan. Another thought I had was be like a photographer for National Geographic. Um, National Geo, if you're out there. Uh, he took photography in college. That's right. I know where the power button is on the camera. My family always calls her to take their pictures. I have great ideas. So I still want to travel the world, <laughs> probably alone, <laughs> taking pictures. No. For National me. Geographic. What part of Europe would you want to explore? London, Paris, England, England, France, France. Yeah, Paris is a town. Paris is a city. <laughs> you maybe want to consult a globe or map. Yeah. You do need me then. You cannot go this alone. I will go with you and eat all the croissants. Maybe I go to Ireland. Ooh. I, 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 Come I, on, I, bring I, it. No. You know you got this. Have a nice Guinness at the pub. Just hang out a bit. <laughs> at one point you wanted to like um do ceramics on the beach and stuff so there's a part of me that kind of would love to have some kind of studio you know where i could draw and, and throw clay on the on the wheel and all right we could reenact ghost 
I would love to buy some property someday and build our own yes. home. Um, I would really just love to like live out, to get out, get out in the country, to garden, to you get out of here. You, you get, get out. out of here. Get out. <laughs> know what I want. I don't know what I want anymore. Part of me is a little bit lost. I don't know what I would do with myself. And I need to figure that out because at some point all you people will be gone. You'll be in Europe by yourself. Our kids will be in college or whatever they're going to do because they're not living here. <laughs> they ain't coming back. <laughs> Stamp. What's, what's this date? Let's put that on there. Boom. Sign. And I'll just be alone. Doing theater. <laughs> All right. This conversation has been brought to you by Mind Hate IPA. If you would like to sponsor us, send us a free bunch of beer. Uh -huh. If you'd like to hear more, bye.